Inside Rival Bank Arena, joined by new Condors head coach Jay Woodcroft. And uh, Jay being introduced here to Bakersfield, uh, officially here this week, uh, to fans and to media. Just first off, just your excitement level uh, on taking this next step in your career and, and becoming a, a head coach here at the American Hockey League level in Bakersfield. Well, th first of all, thanks, Ryan, for uh, welcoming me so very nicely. Um, very excited about what's going on, what's happening within the Edmonton Oilers organization in terms of prospects that are are coming in um, that um, some are expected to start here in Bakersfield so that's a very exciting time as uh, first time head coach coming into this um, position with such a prestigious franchise um, super excited about the opportunity super excited about all the people in uh, within the organization and as I said um, excited to get to work and roll my sleeves up with some of these young players that are coming into the the organization. 13 years as an assistant coach in the NHL Detroit, San Jose, Edmonton. Now you're a head coach. What changes do you make going from an assistant coach position to a head coaching position or do you make any changes or do you kind of just keep the way things have been rolling here over the last 13 years? Well I, I would say that the the number one thing that I'm going to be is myself. And uh, I, f I feel like I've studied for this test for 13 years. And I've had some really good teachers along the way, learned some good lessons from not only uh, the head coaches that I've worked with, but lots of good coaches in other capacities that I've worked with along the way. And probably most importantly, the lessons that I've learned from teaching some really good players at the highest level. Um, for me, as I said, I, I'm going to be myself. I'm gonna take those lessons that I've learned um, our team is, is going to be one that is going to be based on pace and puck possession and uh, one that is going to play a connected brand of hockey in all three zones. And uh, as I said, I'm looking forward to getting, getting down to work and uh, getting to training camp come September. One of the biggest things, obviously, in the American Hockey League and the Condors have had dozens of players now go from Bakersfield up to Edmonton. You've been in a unique position here over the last couple of seasons that you've worked with many of the players that were already here in Bakersfield. What have you heard from them about Bakersfield, their experiences here with the Condors organization, their time in the American Hockey League, and how it prepared them for being in the NHL? Well, the in my initial conversations with players as they would come up from, uh, from Bakersfield up to Edmonton, the very first thing they would talk about is uh, the passionate fan base here and uh, how hockey is woven into the fabric of the community, how um, important uh, the game is to the people here and how they absolutely love playing uh, for, for this fan base. And so for me, uh, when I heard that, that was uh, music to my ears in terms of um, what our young players in the Edmonton Oilers organization were going through, the um, what they were being exposed to just from a living standpoint, but then uh, also to know that they have this community behind them, that to me sets them up, up for success. And um, you know they've done a good job of connecting and looking forward to keeping on, keeping on with that. It's your first chance as well to meet the fans and to meet media here in Bakersfield. Let's talk some hockey. What can we expect out of a Jay Woodcroft coach team? And obviously you mentioned a lot of the young prospects. We saw a couple of those, I think, at the end of last season with Cooper Marodi. We saw Ethan Bear, Caleb Jones for a lot of last season and a lot of youth coming into this organization. Yeah, uh, another factor in why I took this position was uh, the young players that were coming into the organization. There's a lot of skill. Uh, I think last year a lot of skill on the back end was in introduced uh, in terms of some of the young players that were, were coming in uh, towards the end of the season. Some of the young forwards that uh, everyone's very excited about were brought into the organization as well. The game that we're going to play is going to be a connected one. Uh, as I said, it's, it's uh, one that's going to be based on work ethic and pace and everybody being on the same page. I believe that when everyone's on the same page, that, uh, that equals speed and uh, we're gonna get all five of our players on the ice on the same page in the offensive zone, in the neutral zone, and in the defensive zone. And uh, looking forward, as I said, looking forward to getting to that point in September where we can institute this system and um, really roll up our sleeves and work with the guys. Well, Jay, welcome to town. We appreciate the time. We'll catch up certainly uh, throughout the season. I appreciate it, Ryan. Thank you very much. He's the new head coach of the Bakersfield Condors, Jay Woodcroft, all off season long. Stay tuned, condors.tv and all the social media channels. From Rabobank Arena, I'm Ryan Holt.